everyone and thanks for joining me. I'm Bonnie Krebs and I'm here to give you a tutorial on how to use this really fun porch throwback. Now this is, um, these throwbacks are only available for a short time and we have brought back this porch and it is a fun one. I've made just a few little changes to it and uh, I think you're gonna love putting it together. You know, these big images, they're really, really fun because it's sort of like filling in the pieces and you could just kind of change them up to the season and they're so much fun to do. So we're gonna take this flat image and we're gonna make it three dimensional and we're gonna make it full of color. So stick with me and I'm gonna show you how to do that. So let me tell you what else we're gonna need. Lots of flowers and foliages. Now you can use what you have uh, you don't have to use exactly what I'm using in this tutorial, but I'm going to show you what I'm using and then you can just kind of take it from there. But you will need lots of flowers and foliages to fill up this page. So here's what I'm going to use. In the mini uh, flower set, the 5009, I'm going to be using the little dots right here and this little tiny leaf that looks like a little leaf, but it's also a bloom. So we're going to use that one. Uh, in the flower set five, uh, we are going to use these two little guys with the little streamers and the little uh, tiny little buds here. We're going to use those. In the branches set, this little guy right here, this is 4964, the branches set. Uh, flower set two, these little guys, they look like little hearts all in a row. We're going to be using those. Uh, foliage set four, uh, we're going to use these little vines right here. Uh, really, really fun. And like I said, you know, this is just what I'm using. I just grab florals and foliages, you know, um, out of the blue. Uh, everything is going to work here. So whatever you pick is going to work just fine with this uh, composition. And then we have our foliage set and our flower set. This is the beginning sets. If you just have these two, you're still good to go. So I'm going to use the large grass here and the vine. And then in this one, I'm going to use the filler flower right here. But you could also use your long stems. You could use the rest of these foliages and you could um, do a great job with just those two sets. So don't be discouraged if you don't have all of these sets that I'm using. You can make it really simple with what you have. Okay, so let's get going. I started out by stamping it in two colors. So what that means is that I have inked my blue, my 565, and ink the whole back of the stamp with that, and then right over the top, before I stamped it, the 969, right over the top of the blue. I stamped it off onto a piece of watercolor paper, and now I'm good to go with my, uh, with my image. So here it is, it's pretty flat, and we are going to bring this little flat painting alive, and we're gonna do that by adding shadows, and colors and foliage in all of these little planters. So let's get going on that. I'm gonna start out uh, just doing that exact thing. I'm gonna put in some shadows so we can get some dimension here. And um, I'm gonna start out just by pulling the color out of the lines. That's where we start normally. And that's what we're gonna do here. It really doesn't matter what area you start with. You know, it's all going to be finished. So there isn't any specific um, you know, method to it. You just want to uh, start at one end and go to the other end. So I'm going to just pull this color down uh, from the bottom. Now, you know, when you're pulling the color out of the lines, you know, you're not coloring on top of the lines. You're pulling that color out either, be, either below or above. So let me just show you a little example here. See these little uh, details in the door? You can set those back in or you can pop them out, depending on how you pull the color out of the lines. So for example, if we want them to pop, pop out, we're going to pull the color from the bottom and the outside. And that's going to bring these forward, bring these little posts forward. See how that works? This one, let's just do it the opposite here. So let's pull the color from the inside and this will set this one back inside. Do you see the difference there? So it really, really matters, you know, how you pull the color out of the lines. <clears throat> back in here, uh, we're gonna put a cute little wreath on this window, so we don't have to do a lot to it. Um, <clears throat> anytime you have a planter like this one, you're going to need to leave a highlight in the center, so we're gonna concentrate the color to the outside 
and then we're going to pull it to the center. And this is just, you know, the starting point. So we're gonna do lots more to this, this drawing, um, to this composition, but for now, we're going to just start by pulling the color out. And I'm just kind of going along the lines here. You know, these are contours, so we're gonna see these kind of coming forward I'm gonna bring my light down just a little bit. It feels a little dark to me. Uh, <clears throat> we're gonna bring these down. Uh, anything that's rounded, you know, is going to have a highlight in the center. So that just means the sides are darker. So all of this in here, uh, under here, because this is gonna come forward, this little plank, uh, this little door frame, those are gonna come forward. So that color is gonna be below. See how that brings that forward? It's just, it's just like magic, you guys, just like magic. And I'm just, you know, I don't have a lot of color in the lines because I've stamped it off and that's okay because we're going to add color to it. We're definitely gonna do that. So same with this one, this is a contour, so it's got a rounded, you know, it's rounded, so it's going to have that highlight in the center. Okay, so we've got we've got the uh, the basics done here for the most part. Let's let's bring this door frame forward, and we do that by pulling that color from behind and next to it. See that brings that forward. Okay, that's a good start. By the time we get uh, color in here, you know, we're not gonna see too much of these, um, these little posts, but the tops of the stairs, those are gonna be dark. Okay, let's get going here. Let's, um, let's add something now to the side. We're gonna kind of grow some vines up over the top of this roof, and we're going to do that with this vine right here. So I'm going to ink this up. In fact, I think I'll use this one. This is the 249. And I'm going to ink about half of it. And I'm just going to, and you know what? Let's, let me change this up a little bit. I think I'm gonna use my little, um, my little branch here. And I'm going to add some green to it. So this one right here, this is the 249. And I'm just gonna kind of grow this up, you know, around the post. Don't You don't have to be careful, really, about how you stamp it. You know, we're gonna add some foliage to it and some greenery. I'm gonna just bring some down over the front, like this. Uh, maybe some over here. And let's see, what where else do we need some? Maybe just some right there. And then let's add uh, some some leaves to it now. So I'm gonna I'm gonna change up my green. I'm gonna use the 177, and I'm just gonna use the tip now. And I'm just going to add some of this to it, just a little greenery to it here, just like that. I don't need to ink the whole thing uh, because that stamp it would just be so big that I don't you know I don't wouldn't really fit onto the roof much and it would just it would be too um, uniform in shape and we, we really don't want anything that looks anything to look like the stamp the actual stamp okay that looks pretty good uh, kind of looks like a mess actually but never give up at this point in time because you know when you add the water it just sort of all comes together so we're gonna do one more thing here we're gonna add the little flowers to it I'm gonna use my dark blue, my 565, and I'm just gonna ink about three. So let me hold this up so you can see. So just this little section right here is what I'm gonna ink. I don't need this big, huge cluster of florals, so I'm just gonna use a small part, but I'm gonna kinda of walk it in a circle. You know, I wanna stamp that in there, you know, several times so that I get that light to dark impression. And then that those dark blooms, they come forward and the light ones, they fade back. And that's how we get that three-dimensional uh, look. 
let's put just a few down here. And then, you know, we can always come back and add some more if we want to. So I'm gonna dip my brush in water now, pinch it off. And I'm gonna start by just dabbing at these vines. No need to, you know, brush in anything. We're just dabbing. Uh, we wanna leave some white space, always. Don't wanna blend it up too much because we wanna see the, you know, the shape of the leaves a little bit, but we also kinda of wanna blend it out. That's what makes it look like a watercolor. And you can see that mix of green now because of these little branches. Kind of mixed up that cool green and that warm green. Gave us a really nice mix of green. And see, you know, because we stamped it off, I'm not, you know, I don't have to worry too much about stamping over big lines, you know, dark lines. Everything's kind of blending together. And now let's go in and do the blue. And I can, I can mix that blue in a little bit with the green. That's totally fine. It's gonna just kind of all blend together. And I just keep dipping my brush. Every time I dip my brush, I pinch it off. Uh, if I don't do that, I'm just gonna get too much water and then I'm gonna just kind of lose everything. I'll just get a big blob. Can't have that. Okay, I'm gonna add just a little bit of this blue to my palette, same blue, 565. And I'm gonna take a little bit of this and some water and just kind of brush in this some of this color for the sky. Maybe just a little bit kind of back in here. This porch kind of uh, comes forward a little bit. And so we would see that sky up above. Okay, so let's add, let's add some color now to the house a little bit, and then we'll finish putting in our florals uh, into our little pots. So I'm just, you know, you can, you can make the house whatever color you want. Uh, I'm going to, I'm going to add some of this light blue color. This is 526. And I'm just gonna brush in a little bit of this. You know, it doesn't uh, have to be brushed in completely. It's just the idea that this house, this little porch is a color. So, you know, think about shadows and movement, you know, everything's kind of blown in the wind, the colors are gonna change and it's not all gonna be the same. But this up in here, this area up in here, this is gonna be darker, uh, just because that's really shaded up here. So we can get a little more color up, up in the top. And then just a little bit of it down in here, just the idea of it. Just the idea of it, you guys, that's watercolor. Just the idea of things. A little bit down in here. And then um, let's just add a little of this color uh, to the door as well. We can make it pretty light here. Pretty light. We can always come back in and add a little more color to it too. Okay, I'm just gonna um, I'm just gonna finish that little door handle because uh, that's really bugging me here. <laughs> I really need to just color this in dark, and I want to leave a little highlight. So that's the door handle right there, and you know by darkening it like that and leaving a tiny little highlight, you can see that it's a rounded doorknob. Okay, let's do the um, let's do the little wreath on here. Now this set comes with this little. Um, this little bow, which is just perfect for on the door here. And I'm gonna just use my, um, I'm gonna use my positioner to make sure that I get this in the right place. I don't want to uh, misstamp this. And I'm just gonna use a really light color. So I just pick a gray, this is just a light gray, it's an N79. 
it's just really light because we're it's small and we're going to add some color to it. Oh, I've already got a bunch of stuff stamped on here. So let's find a clean corner. There we go. Here's a clean corner. And we'll stamp that right into the corner like that. And I can see where that's going. And I think that looks good right there. So I'm going to put this back. And then I'm just going to ink it again because this is pretty light. You could use, you know, pretty much any gray, any light color. Okay, so we've got that little, um, got that little bow on there. So I'm just going to pull a little of this color out of the lines and then add some color to it. So you can, you know, we can add whatever color we want. Let's just make it red. So let's just take some of this and just brush this on really light start out really light stay in each section just keep to each section and then you can always go back over it again once it's dry so you can go back over it and then it will darken up Okay, just like that. And then you can come in with your bullet tip on your um, on your red and just kind of darken in these areas down in the bottom. There we go. And I'm going to uh, just kind of turn my page so that I can stamp in my wreath. And looking at this now, I think I wanna take out uh, some of these, these lines are a little too dark. So I've got my handy sandy eraser here that just works so great to erase and so I've really lightened up these lines now so I'm not going to have to worry too much about stamping over the top so I'm going to take my little my little foliage stamp here this one right here and I'm going to just kind of stamp in a circle I'm going to start over on the side and just pick any green doesn't matter which one you're picking and just kind of, you know, work your way around. I just keep turning my, my page uh, because I think that just makes it so much easier to just kind of walk in a circle. And it doesn't, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect. And I'll just kind of go around like this. Stamp a little bit more in here. And then I'm gonna add some florals to it. So I'm gonna take these little dots and some purple. So the 636. And just add in a few of these little dots. They're so tiny that they just work great. A little bit of color. And you can, you know, obviously add as much as you want of that. So, and then, you know, we're just blending it together. So I'll just start out by blending that purple and then the green. Just touch it. You know, you're just softening the line. So it's, it's so simple to do. And we'll come back in here and add some white, you know, with our, um, with our favorite white, you know, anymore. I just just in everything because it's just so fun to use. Uh, okay, so let's keep going here. We're going to um, let's add some color into the windows, and I'm just going to take a little of this blue, and I'm just going to make some little slanted lines here. These windows are kind of, you know, back in the background, so we don't have to do too much with them. There we go. So let's add our little florals in here. And we're gonna use we're gonna use our light blue 526. And this little guy again. And I'm just gonna kind of hang it right over the edge of this little planter. Just gonna stamp it in just like that. 
And you know, the same over here, you can do the same. And then I'm gonna add some red. So here's those little hearts that look like they're in a little circle. I'm gonna just add those in here. Just stamp them in. You can add as much as you want. You can go back over it again. And then let's add just some little vines in here. So this is what I mean by, you can just put whatever you want in here, whatever you have is gonna work just fine. And by the time you, you know, get it all blended up, it's, it's just gonna look great. Okay, so now I'm gonna start out with these, with this little floral, little blue, and just kind of soften that all up. And then the green. Just in here like this. And then I'm just gonna add a little more red in here just to really pop this color. Okay, so let's go on to this one. And I'm gonna just add kind of a shadow around the edge because I'm gonna keep this one white, this little pot white. And maybe we'll just put something decorative on here. Like so. And you know what, we might as well do this one while we're at it. Let's do the same here. Just drive that color over to the center. And maybe we just do a little red stripe on this one. Okay, so let's add some more foliage in here. And I'm just gonna, I'm gonna pick some grass. This one right here, and we'll just stamp some of this in. Maybe we'll just add some florals too. So stamp and then, you know, add water. It's just all there is to it. So let's add this little floral here and I think I'm gonna do it red. So I'm gonna just ink it in two colors. So this is the red. Just add just a little more to that. And a green stem. And then I can just kind of stamp this like that. And then we just add a tiny little bit of water to it so we can see the detail still, but we're just softening the lines. This one. Okay, so let's do this one down here. And we're going to use these little guys. Uh, these are so fun. So there are two colors. So I'm just gonna use the, I'm gonna use the, uh, well, first of all, I'm gonna clean it off to make sure that I don't get the bottom part. Cause I'm just gonna use the top part for now. I'm gonna ink the bottom green and the top purple. and then just stamp it into my little container, like so. And then I'm gonna do it again. So the top purple and the bottom green. And then I'll just stamp it in here like this. Actually, maybe I'll just kinda like that sticking up above a little bit. Cute, there we go. And then we're gonna add water to it, just like we always do. Just touch it. It's going to just kind of do its thing. You know, the light ones, uh, they will fade back. The darker impressions, they'll come forward. So you just need to make sure that you don't overwater it and you leave those white spaces. And I just started with the little blooms first and then I can add water now to the, to the green. 
Whoops, so we didn't do this little pot. We should just do this little pot really quick too. So this little guy is just, he's kind of off the, off the page almost. So we can only just see part of it. And let's just do this one the same too. With that little stripe. Okay, like so. And then I'm gonna clean this off so that I don't, uh, I don't need the top anymore. And I'm just gonna use this little section down here. So I'm gonna move this up. I'm gonna move this up so I can just get this little section here. And I'm gonna just kind of hang it off of my little pot. Like that. And let's do the other one. So we've gotta go in the other direction. So let's do the same here for this one. And we'll just hang this little guy over on this side. And these little blooms, they come in that set and they really, they work really well for these little vines that are kind of hanging down. So you can just ink a few of these and just kind of hang them down like that. Cute, so cute. It's coming together, you guys, we're doing it. Okay, so now let's get our shadows in because we've got a lot of stuff going on here. We need a little depth. So we're gonna do that with the blue. We're gonna take some of this dark blue now and we're gonna start putting in some shadows. So especially up in here, you know, on the side of this little decorative um, edge. See how that just pops that forward just by putting a little of this shadow in, okay? Uh, on the post, you know, we're gonna see a little shadow here. Uh, mostly on the side. Just a little blue, uh, a little blue line really, really makes a difference. Same over here. We're just gonna kind of follow this post down and then just, you know, around these circles, we'll add some, some shadows. Under here, this is gonna be a little darker under here. And under here, if we pop those forward, so they're gonna have a little shadow, uh, we're gonna add, you know, some shadow in here Kind of inside this little window pane that will bring that forward underneath here so it's going to be dark under here that's going to cast a shadow underneath those little planters down here on top of the steps. You know, when you start getting all of these shadows in, it really starts to take shape. And it just, it ends up being just this finished little painting that is just so cute. And different every time. You know, every time I've stamped this, it's different. And I don't know, even if I tried, I don't know if I could do it the same every time. It's gonna always be just a little bit different. Okay, so let's add some little dark areas now to the inside. Oh, let me find my little twin tone here, my blue. Is. Here's my little blue twin tone. I'm going to just kind of darken these little corners here where this window is. Just to add a little bit more dark, a little dark right in, up in here. A little shadow under there. And then, you know, in here where these window panes are. 
That's gonna just gonna be a little darker in here. Like so. Okay, let's add a little brown now to the palette, our palette, and we're gonna get in the um, the roof, the rooftop. So we're just gonna mix a little bit of this in here and just brush on a little of this color. Um, it doesn't, you know, have to be perfect. And we still want to leave just a little bit of that um, light of white on there. And then let's put a little bit of it here. This is the back wall of the house. So we'd see just a little bit of this flooring here. That'll kind of give us a little more dimension. And then maybe on the top of the stairs, we can add a little of this brown too. Okay, and then I'm just gonna add um, just a couple of little lines for some detail here, just to kind of add a little bit in for that. Okay, let's add some grasses and then we'll be ready to add some white to it. So I'm gonna take this tall grass now and I'm just gonna kind of bring it forward. You can, you know, move it so that it will kind of create a pathway, you know, as you're kind of coming down the stairs, you can kind of do it this way. And then just, you know, pull that color just up and out. Just kind of drag this color up. Loose strokes. Right in here, and in here. You always you always see things at the end. That's that's what I do too. You know, before I'm finished, I always find something, some little thing to do, and I should just put um, maybe some details up in here, just to kind of break this up a little bit. Something decorative. Some texture always adds a lot, you know, regardless of what it is, even if it's just little lines up here for some little detail. Okay, let's put in uh, some of these little guys and maybe we'll just use some blue and just kind of stamp them in a little bit. You know, like I said, it doesn't, you know, you can just really add <laughs> whatever you want in here and just fill it up. Or you can make it really simple too. Okay, wow, that is looking full. Gonna make this little area just a little bit darker and under here a little bit of a shadow under that door handle and under here okay I'm just going to add a little um, white now to this okay and I'm gonna do that with my uh, PH Martin which I love. And I'm just going to dip my brush now and add a little water uh, to this. It's pretty thick. And so if you add a little water to it, you can, you can kind of blend it up a little bit more. And then I just kind of brush it off. If you get it too thin, you're gonna be able to see through it and it's, you know, you just do it again. You just put another coat on it. Okay, so let's see. I wanna add some little white blooms to, to this little wreath. And 
And you know what? Maybe a little detail here. Get a little more white on here. And then I'm going to add some white in here. Just some little white blooms. It just kind of makes everything pop and just brings this all forward. Uh, maybe just a few in here. I just take it right out of the container um, and it just, it seems to work great. And then some little blooms here also, it's so cute. And you don't have to be careful about how you apply it. You just dab it on, you know, as much as you want. Just add a little bit in there. Okay, you guys, this is coming together. And anywhere that you uh, may have you know, added a little too much color and you want to remove that, you can just brush over it with the white. It just, it covers up tons of things like that. Okay, I think we are finished. You know, if you forget a highlight, you know, there you go. Right on your doorknob, there's your highlight. Okay, I think we are finished with this masterpiece and I'm gonna sign it and date it. And if you would like to have it, uh, say so in the comments and uh, we will pick a winner and you may be that winner and you may have this. And I hope you guys give this a try. This is a really fun one. You know, it's a little bit uh, more intense in that it takes a little more time but uh, the outcome is worth it. And uh, nobody would ever guess uh, that this was stamped. There's no way they would guess that. And you come up with a just a really fun, uh, frameable piece of art that anyone would love to have. So be sure to always sign your art. That is a must. Be sure to always do that. And I hope you give this little project a try. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you again.